Hello and welcome into my attic. So for my first DIY, I'm going to show you a new system that I learned recently of how to transfer images onto your DIY projects. With this new system, there's no mod podging, no rubbing away paper with your fingers and no laser printing necessary. So let's get started and I'll show you how it's done. So today I'll be using a glass bottle. You can use anything you prefer. I'm just going to give a couple of coats of white paint to my bottle, uh, chalk paint or whatever you prefer. I'm just using acrylic paint with a little cornstarch and a little wood glue um, mixed in together. To do the inside neck of the bottle, I found it really useful to use a sponge hair curler and just dab around the edges. So instead of washing my dabbers here, I just thought I'd put them in a plastic tub so that they'll be ready to use next time without me having to wash them all the time. So to transfer the image onto the bottle, the bottle needs to be completely dry from the paint. So to keep my bottle still while I uh, transfer the image, I just got out these two heavy tins here and I'll stick the bottle in between the two tins so they, the bottle won't move. I chose this lovely image here which I don't, downloaded from the Graphics Fairy. But what you have to do is reverse the image on your computer because um, it's going face down. So the, the writing needs to be um, mirror imaged. So the magic ingredient needed to uh, transfer the image, believe it or not, is just a matte sealer, a matte medium sealer. So what you need to do is take your matte medium and give it a good stir. When you, once you've done that, you uh, brush on the matte medium where you want to place your image, whether it be all over your uh, object or just in one little position. Make sure you coat it really well. When you've done that, just place your image face down onto the wet medium and press it down. Now you've got to leave your image down like that for about three minutes. And the important thing is that the paper mustn't dry, otherwise it will stick to the bottle. So uh, if you just uh, add a little bit of matte medium on top of the paper as well, just to keep the paper moist. I saw a lady on YouTube doing this system and I couldn't believe my eyes. I've never heard of this before and I tried it out and it worked. When the three minutes are up, gently pull back your paper. And hey presto, just like that, you have a beautiful transferred image. So the image will be slightly different in colour and won't be as prominent. Um, but the lady said, uh, if you spray it with an acrylic spray, the colour will um, be much more evident. You know, it, it will pop. I didn't do that because I prefer a faded look, like a, a distressed look. So I didn't do that, I left mine as is. I wanted text on the neck of the bottle as well, but it was a bit of an awkward shape and in an awkward position. So I had to tear the paper so that it would curve. So 
So the text on the, the neck of the bottle wasn't very prominent and I know why that is now. That is because the paper was too wide and I couldn't press it down. So if you ever do anything like this and you have a very th uh, thin space, make sure you cut the paper thin as well so that it fits in, you know, into the space that you need it to go into. But it came out very well anyway and I really love this technique. It came out absolutely gorgeous. I hope you find it useful as well.